Hello. Okay. Uh, and Marco, take one. Uh, my name is Garth Smith. I'm a lead programmer at TikTok Games in Burbank, California. So I originally came across Entity Component Systems working um, in some of my own personal projects. And then when Unity came out with their own Entity Component System, I decided to try it out. And I found it was much better than my own personal library, is much better than some of the other libraries, ECS libraries I've used. One of the great things about Entity Component Systems is that we, can, we have a system and the system only does one small thing and it, it does it quickly. So if there's a bug in there or it's not performing well or maybe it's just confusing for a programmer, uh, one project, they can go ahead and create a whole new system to replace it and we can swap the system in and out. And any benefits that we get in one project, we can go ahead and swap it out and swap in the new one from the other project. Working with ECS on a puzzle game was great because uh, a puzzle game is it's not as big as like a AAA production with a huge open world. I think ECS is, is great for that. I imagine most of these open world games, I'm, I'm almost convinced they all use ECS. So it's a very, very good design pattern to know. ECS has helped us definitely uh, be able to add some new features. For example, make a new obstacle type of obstacle just by mixing and matching different components together. Uh, so we found that it's very, we can iterate and make lots of variations on obstacles very quickly just by adding or removing a component and, and seeing how that would affect uh, the gameplay. We could make lots of variations very quickly and we, we didn't even need to write very much code for it. You also kind of avoid a lot of these um, integration bugs. Um, a lot of these, when you have dis different large systems interacting with each other. And, and what we found is, is not only did we get working in ECS, but our algorithms were better than they were uh, even, even before we were starting to use ECS. So some of the things that ECS was encouraging us to do really kind of taught us how to make better algorithms as well. The other benefits, um, we do mobile games, so we also care a lot about battery life. And recently I've actually been being asked about not making your phone so hot while you play. Um, so ECS will definitely help with that. If we're more efficient, if we don't need to access RAM as much and our CPUs can act faster, then, then we don't need to do as many calculations, which saves battery life and on heat. And battery life is a huge thing for mobile games. The biggest benefits for our players with ECS is uh, obviously frame rate. That's the number one benefit is performance. Uh, the frame rate goes up. It's much easier to hit 60 frames a second when you're able to access your data quickly. So I would definitely suggest if you haven't used ECS before, go ahead and start using it. You don't need to start with entity component systems by making your entire game use ECS. You can definitely use ECS for some parts of your game. Um, if you have some data, you need to do something every frame, try making a system and, and working with components instead and, and see how you like it. And from there you can kind of expand and, and do more and more of your game in ECS as you, you get more and more familiar with it.